Hi everyone! Today I want to go through a list of vocabulary and some phrases that you might need if you go to a German Krankenhaus, or what we call in the States, a hospital. This could be just for your regular checkup, which in German we call a Vorsorgeuntersuchung. Or it could be for a Notfall, which would be an emergency. In case of an emergency in Germany, you can call 112, which is basically the German version of 911. This will put you in contact with the Notfalldienst, or the German Emergency Service. This will get you Polizei, police, Feuerwehr, or, which you're more than likely going to be needing since you're watching this video, a Rettungsdienst. Rettungsdienst translates directly as rescue service. These are the people who are going to show up in a Krankenwagen, which is an ambulance in German. They will then, of course, take you in the Krankenwagen to the Krankenhaus. There you will eventually be seen by either an Arzt, which is what I'm dressed as right now, or die Ärztin, if it's a female. More than likely you're probably going to see a Krankenschwester or a Krankenpfleger before you actually get in to see the Arzt. This is basically the same system as it is here in the States. You see a nurse before you can see a doctor. Now once you get to the Krankenhaus, whether that be via the Krankenwagen, your own Auto, or mit dem Bus, oder mit dem Zug, oder einfach nur zu Fuß. It doesn't matter, the first thing you're probably going to have to do is answer some questions about why you're there, and of course, fill out some stuff about your insurance. The German word for health insurance is Krankenversicherung. At this point, someone might ask you a few questions, one of those questions of course being Wie geht es Ihnen? How are you doing? Don't expect to hear the common Wie geht's whenever you go to a Krankenhaus. Of course, this will be a little bit more of a formal situation, so you're obviously not going to be using the do form with anyone involved in this conversation. You can answer this question wie geht es Ihnen in a variety of ways. Here are a few examples. Es geht mir schlecht. I am doing poorly. Es geht mir nicht gut. I'm not doing well. Ich fühle mich schwach. I feel weak. Mir ist schwindelig. I feel woozy. Mir wird schlecht. I feel sick. Usually this means that you're about to throw up. Ich bin krank. I am sick. Of course, if you're here for just a normal Vorsorgeuntersuchung, you could say Ich bin gesund. I am healthy. Beyond the usual Ich bin krank and Ich bin gesund, there are a few other things that you can say Ich bin to. Ich bin müde. I'm tired. Ich bin erkältet. I have a cold. Ich bin verletzt. I'm injured. Ich bin heiser. I'm hoarse. You might also hear the phrase, was fehlt Ihnen? This is probably a follow-up question to the answer that you gave before. Again, based on the reason you're going into a Krankenhaus to begin with, you may have different answers here. You can start with the basic, ich habe, I have, and then you have a few options that you can go with. Here are some of the simpler ones. Ich habe Kopfschmerzen. I have a headache. Ich habe Halsschmerzen. I have a sore throat. Ich habe Zahnschmerzen. I have a toothache. Ich habe Rückenschmerzen. I have a sore back. Ich habe Bauchschmerzen. I have stomach pains. Ich habe Fieber. I have a fever. Ich habe eine Erkältung. <coughs> ich habe Husten. <coughs> I have a cough. Ich habe Schnupfen. I've got the sniffles. Ich habe eine Grippe. I have the flu. Ich habe Durchfall. I've got diarrhea. Why do I get the feeling that one of my students is going to take that part of the video out, loop it in a GIF, and then just throw it up on Instagram somewhere? Ich habe eine Krankheit. I have a sickness or illness. This is pretty vague, and your doctor may get a little bit upset with you if you just keep saying, I'm sick, I don't feel well, but you don't actually give them any instructions. Ich habe Krebs. I have cancer. Ich habe eine Verletzung. I have an injury. FYI, normal people are going to say Ich habe mich verletzt or Ich bin verletzt. Ich habe mich erkältet. I have caught a cold. There are also a bunch of other phrases that just don't fit into that nice neat little, you know, Ich habe or Ich bin. So here's a few of those phrases. Mein Kopf tut mir weh. Meine Backe tut mir weh. Mein Ohr tut mir weh. Mein Auge tut mir weh. Meine Nase tut mir weh. Meine Ohren tun mir weh. Meine Zähne tun mir weh. You can just say mine or meine, followed by whatever body part it is that hurts you. 
If it's a single form, you would use tut. If it's a plural form, you're going to use tun. Don't forget you also have to have mia ve at the end of the sentence. If you want to see more vocabulary with body parts in it, you can check out this video over here that I did a long time ago with Mr. Potato Head. Ich huste. I am coughing. Normally, I would say ich huste ständig. I'm coughing constantly. Ich zittere. I'm shivering. Ich falle in Ohnmacht. I am fainting. Normally, you probably wouldn't be able to say this while you're doing it, so you might be saying this after the fact, saying, I fainted. Ich bin in Ohnmacht gefallen. Or you could say, I feel faint. Ich fühle mich der Ohnmacht nahe. I feel close to fainting. Ich breche. Ich erbreche. I'm throwing up or puking. Again, you probably wouldn't say this while you're doing it, so you might need the phrase, ich habe gebrochen, or ich habe erbrochen. I threw up. Ich habe mich versehentlich geschnitten. I accidentally cut myself. Ich wurde von jemandem geschnitten. I was cut by someone. Ich wurde von etwas geschnitten. I was cut by something. Ich wurde von Glas geschnitten. I was cut by glass. Mein insert body part here entzündet sich. My insert body part is inflamed. Again, depending on the gender of the noun or if it's plural, you might need to add meine instead of mine. Also, if it's plural, you're going to say entzünden sich instead of entzündet. Again, Mr. Potato Head, body parts. Ich habe mich verbrannt. I burnt myself. Ich habe einen Herzinfarkt. I'm having a heart attack. Ich habe einen Herzinfarkt gehabt. I had a heart attack. Ich habe einen Unfall gehabt. I had an accident. Once the Arzt or Ärztin has taken a look at you, they'll probably tell you what you need to do in order to get better. They may prescribe, aufschreiben, some kind of a medicament or medicine. This means that they'll hand you a Rezept, which is your prescription, and you'll take this Rezept to the Apotheke, which is your local pharmacy. They may give you a Pflaster, band-aid, or sometimes called a Heftpflaster. Sometimes, if just something simple like this won't do, you may need something bigger, which is called a Verband, a bandage. They may prescribe you a Tablette, or a tablet or pill. Sometimes also called a Pille, which is just pill, but with an E. Sometimes they'll just tell you to take something as simple as aspirin, aspirin. They might also prescribe to you some kind of salve, or in this case, an ointment, which in German we call Salbe. The salve may come in handy, falls du dich verbrannt hast, in case you have burned yourself. If you have husten, a cough, you might take husten bonbons, which are cough drops, or husten saft, which literally means cough juice. Obviously, in English, we call this cough syrup. If you have something wrong with your Augen or your Ohren, you might be prescribed something like a drop, which they call Tropfen. Now that you're fertig with your Besuch in the Krankenhaus, you can gehen nach Hause and ruh dich aus. Bald wirst du wieder gesund. Gute Besserung!